I've been looking at rebalancing my portfolio. I'm very heavily weighted towards the UK, and that has been okay for the past year when the FTSE has done reasonably well. But as we move forward into 2023, I'm looking at a rebalancing. And what I want to do is move away from having about 40% in the FTSE to about 4 or 5%. So what I'm going to have a look at is Vanguard's FTSE Developed World ETF, and that's known by the ticker symbol VEVE. So in this video, we'll take a quick whistle-stop tour through that ETF, have a quick look at what it would cost to buy today, what are some of the holdings, does it pay a dividend, and what might the fees be to actually hold that. Welcome back to the channel, and if you're new here, hi, I'm Mark of Desperately Seeking Fi. Let's jump across to the Vanguard platform. So we know it's an ETF, takes us through. We can see that there are 29 ETFs on the Vanguard platform at the moment. And we are looking for the FTSE Developed World ETF. To buy today, you'd be paying almost £70. And there are just under 2,200 stocks within this ETF. So that gives you a diversification across the ETF and ongoing charge of 12. So what is this fund all about? Once again, as per many of these Vanguard ETFs, looking at passive management, indexing, investment approach, and it's looking at tracking the FTSE developed index made up of large and mid-sized companies in the developed markets. It's been around for almost 10 years and has total assets of about 1.7 billion and it is a quarterly dividend payer. 52 week high, it was up at 68.54 and 52 week low 58.72. So it is towards the top end of that performance. We are up on three months. Once again, a little bit bumpy over six, about level over 12. And 18 has shown it's actually gradually gone down to about that September of last year period and then starts to jump up. But if we look, if we go out to rolling years, we are looking at 2018 being flat, up a little bit in 19. 20, a huge rise as per lots of other things, and we will see in a second why that is as it was. About 10% in the previous year in 21-22, and then down about 7% over the last year. VEVE is looking at 2,196 companies. It's got a median market cap of 90.2 billion, so large companies in this ETF and priced earnings of about 16.7. This, I suppose, ties in a little bit into we are very much linked into that North American market with almost 70% in there, followed by Europe, and that will include the UK, where the actual market allocation is US being the major allocation at 65%, then Japan, then UK, France, etc. Etc. And that basically works on the market capitalization of each of those countries. Market weighting by sector, very highly into the technology with 20% of this fund in there, then financials and then discretionary and industrial. Actually reasonably well balanced. There's possibly a little bit too technology in there for me for investing last year. And that's why we see that drop down in 2022, but also why we see the huge run up um, in previous years where we ended up with nearly that 30% increase. That's because technology stocks were on an absolute rally and shooting the moon. And there you go. That shows you where your different allocate weighted allocations are with your big tech companies in there, with your Apples, Microsofts, Amazons, and both alphabet classes. And then down at the bottom, you've got your Johnson & Johnson's coming in on that strong dividend paying footing. Talking about dividends, let's go and have a quick look. We see that it is a quarterly payer and they are coming in. You get your payments in March, June, September and December, very similar to many of the other Vanguard funds. And this fund is paying a 1.87% 
dividend over that year. Not the highest of dividends, but you are getting excellent diversification across the developed world's major companies and there are almost 2,200 of them in there to give you that diversification. What would it cost? So the ongoing charge, reasonably low at 0.12. If you compare that to the S&P 500, ongoing charge is 0.07 and then FTSE VUK is sat at about 0.09. So that is quite good. I think something like VWRL that would give you that all world coverage is sat at 0.22. So there is a potential that you could look at holding this as your developed world and then you could have VFEM and ha hold it for the emerging markets. And if you give that a balance based on market capitalization, you might end up paying a lot less. But I will do a different video on that and look at how you could replace VWRL with uh, VEVE v -E -E and VFEM on the developed market and emerging markets side of things. If you were to invest into this, this ETF on the Vanguard platform, you would end up having to pay their ongoing platform charge of 0 0.15. If you were to go for something like Invest Engine free trade on the free version or trading 212 you wouldn't pay anything on top of that 0 0.12 so what are my thoughts this might be a really good way of rebalancing my portfolio um, because i am way too heavily focused on the uk at the moment but what i do need to bear in mind is do I want to get a higher dividend? Are there other ways that I could potentially rebalance instead of going down this route? But this might be an idea, as I said earlier, to replace my VWRL and come in and look at this. But I will do a further video that looks at the pros and cons of that. But why don't you go and have a look at my video on VWRL and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.